Let me show you guys how I made my cherry lemon lime agua fresca. First, we're going to need to wash and depit two cups of cherries. I'm going to be using my handy dandy cherry depitting machine or whatever the hell you call this. I think I got this little gadget either at an auction or at a thrift store. Here I got my pits and the cherries. Now we need the lemon lime part of the agua fresca. I'm going to use two lemons and two limes because mine were fat and juicy. Well, at least the limes were the lemons, not so much. I'm going to squeeze every last drop of those lemons. I'm going to add everything to my blender, my cherries, my lemon lime juice. Sweeten with sweetener of choice. I'm going to use about a cup of sugar. Then I fill up the rest of my blender with water and blend into smooth. I pour everything into my three-quart pitcher and then I fill up the rest of my pitcher with water. I'm going to mix everything together and this is your perfect chance for you to check for sweetness. If it needs more sugar, add more sugar. If it's too sweet, just add more water. Now we're going to hug up our cup with a nice rim job. No, no, no. Get your mind out the gutter. I mean these type of rim jobs. I have original mango and watermelon, but we're going to go with the original. You can also get your own rim jobs by going to their website and using Nana Joe for a 10% discount on your first purchase. I'm using the original rim dip because because I didn't want any other fruit to come in between me and my cherry lemon lime. Now I fill up my favorite cup with ice and pour myself some delicious and refreshing cherry lemon lime agua fresca. I'm just gonna do the most with my garnish. I'm gonna add some slices of lemon and lime and some to my rim also, but those are gonna be dipped in my mix of powders. Now, if you wanna take this drink to the next level, instead of adding water, you can add some sparkling water so it can take you, you know, to back in the days when the gas station used to sell that cherry lemon lime soda. Anyone? No? Okay, bye. Let's pack today's lunchbox from our cousin and her coworkers and my followers. Today I'm making them a spicy Nashville chicken sandwiches with the burning butthole spicy mayo. Here I have my chicken thighs that I left marinating overnight and I'm just going to fully coat them with my spicy flour coating. I make sure I get all my chicken fully coated before I put them in the deep fryer so they can get nice and crispy. I'm also making them that spicy oil that goes all over your chicken and I'm going to leave all the ingredients down below in the comment section. For the spicy burning butthole mayo, I'm going to season it with a little bit of cake some Carolina Reaper, habanero, sriracha sauce, and I believe scorpion peppers. Now I have a pregnant mama who doesn't like mayo, but I didn't want to leave her out of burning butthole season, so I made hers out of sour cream. I get all the oil and the spicy mayo ready in these little containers. Not packing ketchup, not because I don't want to, it's because I didn't have any, but I'm sure they won't mind. Now let's assemble our sandwich. I'm gonna butter up my buns, make sure they're nice and crispy. Add a couple pickles and my chicken, and I'm also going to give you an example what you would do with the oil. I did not do this to their sandwich i repeat i did not do this to them this was for my son i put everything separate for them so that their chicken doesn't get soggy and i'm just gonna wrap it in some parchment paper and put it in the phone box i know i told you guys before that i wasn't liking how my fries were coming out so i'm trying different styles and i actually like this one so i think i'm gonna stick with this style i just season it with some cajun and chicken seasoning today's option was between a soda and a chocolate horchata and they all chose the chocolate horchata i think i might stop buying sodas now i'm just gonna get everything ready for them so they come and pick up during lunchtime Bye. Let me show you guys how I made my chocolate horchata. Here I got about a cup and a half of rice. I'm going to add two cinnamon sticks. And for the chocolate, we're going to use chocolate abuelita. We're using a puck, I guess. A puck and a half. I don't know what the hell to call these. And if you don't want to use abuelita chocolate, you can also use ibarras. I know there's going to be a lot of people in my comments talking to your papas. Just use what you have. Add some water and soak overnight. We will also need sweetened condensed milk and evaporated milk. The next day in the morning, I throw everything into my blender with a can and a half of evaporated milk and a can and a half of sweetened condensed milk. And two caps of vanilla flavoring. Fill up the rest of your blender with water and blend until smooth. Make sure that before adding it to your pitcher, you strain this mixture because there's going to be a lot of rice granules, particles, I don't know what you call them. I put everything to my three-quart pitcher and then fill up the rest with water. Mix everything together and this is the perfect time for you to check for sweetness. If it needs more sugar, add more sugar. If it's too sweet, just add more water. Now, I didn't know how to garnish it, so I figured I would just put a little bit of leche nestle on the side, you know, because I don't want my teeth to fall off. And then I dip my cup in a little bit of grated chocolate abuelita. Now, I'm just going to fill up my favorite cup with ice. Don't know why I have two clips of that. And then pour myself some delicious, creamy chocolate horchata. I must confess, though, when my son saw this in the fridge, he was like, Mom, why are you selling people chocolate milk? He was like, why can't you be normal and just sell regular horchata? Little does this kid know how crazy his mother is. Anyway. Anyways, guys, hope you like this recipe. Bye. 
Let's pack today's lunchbox for my cousin and her coworkers and my followers. Today I'm making them barbacoa quesa tacos. And I don't want to hear, that's not how you make barbacoa. This is how I make barbacoa. If you don't want to make it like me, just don't make it. I dip the tortillas in the fat from the barbacoa and then I throw them on my ugly comal. Then I add the meat and the cheese and then I close them up so they can get nice and crispy. Look at all the cheese oozing out of them. I get all the fixings ready for the barbacoa and the consomme. They're going to take some green salsa, cebolla, cilantro, and limes. Put a piece of foil on the foam box so that the heat from the tortilla and cheese does not melt through the foam box. And yes, I was burning the shit out of my fingers trying to show you guys what the inside of that taco looked like now i just add the onion and cilantro inside the taco the green salsa because you already know when you're eating barbacoa green salsa is essential and then the fixings for the consomme they also get a side of green rice and a side of refried beans now i'm just gonna put the barbacoa consomme inside the little container so they can dip their tacos they also have the option between a soda or a blueberry horchata yes you heard correctly blueberry horchata and they chose the horchata even though it looks purple i promise you it's blueberries today i had so many of these orders that i ran out of tortillas so i apologize for those who had to wait or for those who left now i'm just gonna get everything ready for them so they come and pick up during lunch time bye let me show you guys how i made my green rice from yesterday i knew that you guys would ask for this recipe and honestly i didn't want you guys to miss out so i quickly recorded this video please excuse the quality i'm gonna begin by browning my rice with a little bit of oil and a tiny piece of onion and my little bit of oil might be your a lot of bit of oil so you know how much oil to put in your rice i'm also using some roasted chile poblanos garlic onion tomatillos and jalapenos i'm gonna stick everything to my blender with a handful of cilantro and all my spices and don't worry guys you know i got you in the comments i'm gonna leave all the details in the comments i blend my sauce until smooth once my rice is as brown as i want it to be i pour the green sauce all over the rice i'm also gonna add some chicken stock but you can add water as soon as it comes to a boil i cover and simmer for about 25 minutes without opening that damn cap and there you have it guys you can also add spinach if you want it to be a little bit more green but i didn't have any spinach now just serve however you want i serve mine with some barbacoa quesa tacos and the leftovers we used for my mom's carne asada hope you like this recipe bye Let me show you guys how I made my blueberry horchata. Here I got about one and one half cups of rice and I'm adding two cinnamon sticks. Somebody here told me to try toasting my rice before soaking it and girl, let me tell you, I don't think I will ever not do it this way. It gives your chata more like a nutty taste, so toast your rice, girl. Once the rice and the canela stick got a little toasty, I'm gonna stick it back to the container where it's going to soak, add some water, and soak overnight. Now, for a blueberry horchata, you're gonna obviously need blueberries. I'm gonna use half of the container and then a handful more for garnish. I cut the pieces small enough so that they fit through the straw. You also need a can of evaporated milk and a can of sweetened condensed milk. Add everything to your blender, your rice, your blueberries, your sweetened condensed milk, your evaporated milk, and about two tablespoons of vanilla. Fill up the rest of your blender with water and blend until smooth. I'm actually going to blend this twice just to make sure that there's not a lot of that rice granules left over and I strained it. I pour everything to my three-quart pitcher and then fill up the rest of the pitcher with water. And don't worry guys, the water is not dirty. I was just using the same blender cup because I wanted to get everything out of it. Throw your garnish in there and mix. And this is the perfect time for you to check for sweetness. If it needs more sugar, add more sugar. If it's too sweet, just add more water. Fill up your favorite cup with ice and pour yourself some delicious and refreshing cream me a blueberry horchata now who would i be without trying to do the most with my garnish so i'm just gonna skewer some blueberries and stick it in my cup question though why is it called a blueberry when it's clearly purple and i always try to put a matching straw but i refuse to put the blue one i had to put the purple one and there you have it guys hope you like this recipe bye